coffee tastes better because the plants have been watered with the blood of commies. Life is fucking awesome, friends. The veteran community is important to the country as a whole because we're some of the fucking hardest working motherfuckers there are. How about some goddamn ammo? It's 3.55, it's supposed to be there at four o'clock. Are you fucking high? There is chaos. A lack of control. That was not what was communicated. They just assume anybody coming in with camera equipment is filming porn. Oh, SHOT Show is the firearms industry week. Everybody in the tactical firearm space gets together. We've got close to 10 veteran reacts videos scheduled. We're gonna try and knock up a dozen podcasts. It's called Free Range American. It just becomes this really wonderful time where we get to have a lot of handshakes with really awesome individuals, veterans and, and military guys. We're doing really well post-military working on that transition. First thing, we're going out to the range. So we're going out to STI, Boulder City. From there, fuck. <laughs> Get that seatbelt on, son. Oh, damn, man. We're serve some coffee. We're shoot some pistolas. Thank you. Wait, you have what are you doing, Paul? You can't just start cleaning up right when I finish. Once you find a great green coffee, you roast it into a fantastic profile and put it through with the proper water to coffee ratio and temperature. Hard not to fucking win. Yo, yo, yo! You want it just a regular espresso? Straight up, you got it. Hard work, work. Hard work, got to do it right. Hard work, work. Hard work, got to earn my pay. Hard work, work. About a quarter to three. Hard work, work. Hard work, let me go to work. Hard work, work. Hard work, let me end it all. Hard work, work. That is a good espresso, Paul. If there was a competition for pissing and excellence, I would have the trophy. Wrapped up the STI range today. It's time to pack it up. Get back to the strip. I'm gonna grab another M60. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. We're here at Battlefield Vegas showing some friends from Ireland um, a bunch of machine guns. We're gonna have them shoot, it's gonna be a good time. Shout out to Battlefield Vegas. They have great coffee here, Black Rifle Coffee, and they're great humans. They got tanks, machine guns, everything. Yeah, it's a crazy little thing though. They got some really unique firearms in here, and the cool part about this place is you can pretty much shoot whatever you want. I picked out a couple for you guys. Are you streaming right now? Oh wow, hi chat. <laughs> I would say it's so fun to come out to the range because not only do I love shooting and be a little proficient every day with firearms, but it's super exciting to take people out that have really never shot a lot of firearms and for them to understand that a firearm is actually a tool. You see how you're hitting a little low? Right. On the what that's called is muzzle sight awareness. It's because your optics are barrel and they're gonna probably have a hundred meter zoom where they intersect. Just for context for behind the scenes, I literally walked past the hotel bar when I landed on Sunday and I saw John Cavanaugh and I was like, holy shit. Anyways, I walked by and just said congratulations on the win. You know, Conor McGregor just beat the crap out of Cowboys surrounding. And then uh, right. one of the ladies there knew Black Rifle, knew who I was, had met with Evan before, and they invited me to sit down. And that's uh, that's what I do like about Vegas, is because like it's this confluence of people coming together. Random, like, right? It always, it happens every year. <laughs> what this is all about, corralling, corralling kittens. We're already late. Today's been fantastic. Went and hit the drinking broettes earlier, did their show. Now we're about to knock out two free range Americans. It's just gonna be a day of entertainment, you know what I mean? Yeah, what is the point of anything we do? Wow, 
Those are good juices. Yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, by the smell of it, if you were to put a giraffe on a you... diaper, sit in the hot African sun for two fucking days, and then put it in a bottle, that's the way this shit smells. It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it was going to taste. Inspiring the American dream through hard work and adventure. So who exemplifies that? So we're trying to pull people that have combined those two things, right? We're trying to get to about one a week right now. You need a haircut. You said no haircuts. You need a haircut. It was your orders, no haircuts, though. Oh yeah, that's right. Last year, I was traveling almost 50% of the year. Most evenings, I could FaceTime the kids, I could FaceTime my wife, and I also make sure that I'm, I maintain the focus on what we have to do for the company. Um, well, when I say that, while maintaining perspective, the way that I look at it is, I work for them. Like they, they pay my mortgage, they keep my lights on, they you know, buy my kids milk and groceries and put gas in our cars. Like, I work for them. They're they're my boss. You know, I'm the boss, I guess, to everybody else in Black Rifle, but I answer to the customer. You know, five minutes, me saying hi to somebody and having a legitimate and authentic interaction with them. <laughs> How could I not do that? Buying my kids backpacks and I, I, I owe them everything. It's a really exciting moment, Logan. Mix, hey, Tim. He Tim. downloaded it. Yeah. So do you want to tell who wrote your uh, new single? <clears throat> My friends Matt and JT. will bury me by the bonfire. I if I die chilling. before I wake. Take me out back to my favorite place where the cold beer flows, warm wind blows. Come Friday night, everybody knows. I get wild, jacked up, bottle in the air. Come on, a sip up. If I go, I'm going cowboy style. We should write a song called I Wish I Was a Navy Seal. <laughs> play that, play that, it's like... Well, I wish that I was a Navy no, 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 that's the end part. I know and I might feel what it's like to be real in the military. You're singing it too good. Maybe I could know some shit, baby, maybe I could feel... I feel like I can't talk shit about the military because I wasn't in the military. I didn't serve. Oh. No, 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 no the break. I over served <laughs> and I served a couple pizzas one time. <laughs> Never went overseas, never stepped on a goddamn landmine. I'm not participating in this pace in this conversation. Cause I got too many friends that been overseas stationed. Where do I go? Go from I got caught beaten off in the closet on shrooms. Thought the girl was a girl, but it was a broom. So I swept the floor and made some time. I made that bitch sweep the floor and she's mine. Found a new mop and it polished it well. Now I'm sitting down here in my jail cell cause I fucked some laundry equipment and a broom. Where the motherfucking shrooms? Damn it. That was brilliant. JT supposed to be here at 10.30, but unfortunately he's lost his voice. He, he was singing last night a Was lot. he? Oh, okay, I just assumed it was alcohol. So, we got Marty Scoblin filling in. He's the journalist of the group. You've been like locked away in this, this building 
yeah. all of SHOT Show. Yeah, um, it, was, it was by design because filming is kind of weird whenever you try to do it in a hotel. They just assume anybody coming in with camera equipment is filming porn. We're killing it. Like we, we had planned on shooting like maybe eight episodes and we got 10. That's what you want to free fly in. Yeah, you know, just closing flaps, <laughs> full display, <laughs> yeah, flapping some. everywhere. Vets React is an important show for Black Rifle Coffee just because over the years we've had like a, a pretty big arc as far as the, the content creation that we've done. We started out really loud and silly and everything, and then we started focusing more on veteran-related causes and content, people within our company. I think personality-driven content is just a better representation of showing who we are. So I want to introduce the audience to Trevor Thompson. You can't tell by how good looking he is and how fit he is, but he was a Navy SEAL. It, it took us a couple years to get one on the crew. <laughs> we finally got one. On social media, it's a very polished version, but this is a little bit more laid back. You kind of get to see people for who they are and everything. This is super important. The show, calf life, everything, just people seeing behind the scenes of Black Rifle Coffee. Logan, where are we at right now? Uh, we're at the Daytona International Race. We had to seek alternative means of transportation. You know, we're looking for coffees that are smell the ground coffee or taste the coffee and it elicits that, wow, that's amazing reaction. Those are the coffees we're looking for. Wow, this tastes very different. I don't know what you're doing. On your right side. I can't see. On that side, just. Go Your left ham side on it. Is good. Your right side needs a lot of work. We've never done this, and it's that progression to do bigger and better things. We can just do dumb shit that doesn't make <laughs> sense, and so whenever we have a crazy little idea, it's just like, let's do it. I think this is the most ambitious thing that we've done. Perfect. Yeah. Good perfect. to go. Good. good job, Scott. You happy, man? That's perfect. That was. They did an amazing. <laughs> really These are talented athletic. zombies, to say the uh, least.